Hello, I'm Adriana Prozer, curator of the exhibition Pilgrimage and Buddhist Art. According to sacred text, just prior to his death, the Buddha instructed his followers to visit the places where the key events of his life had taken place. Lumbini, where he was born, Bodh Gaya, where he attained enlightenment, Sarnath, where he delivered his first sermon, and Kushingara, where he died. Many images of the Buddha evoke these sacred sites. This stone carving is of the Buddha seated and calling the earth to witness of his defeat of temptation. This is the moment of his enlightenment. It was created in the late 9th or early 10th century. Sarnath is where the Buddha taught his first sermon after his enlightenment. The wheel being turned by the Buddha in this relief sculpture represents the Buddhist law or his teaching. This image, taken in 1997 by photographer Kenro Izu, shows the great stupa at Sarnath at dusk. Stupas are funerary mounds. Buddhism and Buddhist pilgrimage sites started to spread across Asia as early as the 3rd century BCE. This bronze miniature stupa is one of thousands that were used to establish new sacred sites across Asia. Many pilgrims rely on the assistance of particular deities to help protect them. In this 11th century tanka, the goddess Tara takes the form of Ashta Mahabaya, guide to both pilgrims and merchants. There are many pilgrimage sites outside of India that were originally associated with local religions, but eventually were appropriated or shared by Buddhist pilgrims. One such site is the Diamond Mountains in Korea. They have long been a site important to Korean shamans and shamanism. After the introduction of Buddhism to Korea, the sacred site was appropriated by Korean Buddhists. When pilgrims visit sacred sites such as this one, they attain merit by creating or purchasing votive offerings at the sites. Clay plaques like this one from Nepal are left as records of merit or may be taken home by the pilgrim, where they may also have an endearing spiritual value. As you journey through this exhibition, I hope you'll get a sense of the profound impact that Buddhism and Buddhist pilgrimage practice have had on Asian art. I hope you enjoy the show. Dutiyam pi buddham saranam gacchami Dutiyam pi dhammam saranam gacchami Dutiyam pi sangham saranam gacchami Tatiyam pi buddham saranam